Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of dot plots, specifically how we can compare them by looking at all different types of their shape and their symmetry and their center, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So we've got two different dot plots here. You see the class X dot plot is a lot bigger than the class Y dot plot. So let's say we ask the students in each of these classes, how many pets do you have? In class X, you see we're going from 0 all the way up to 9. And in class Y, we're going from 0 up to 4. So how can we compare these two dot plots? Well, the first one would be the range. So remember, the range is simply the difference between the greatest number and the smallest number. So class X, it's just 9 minus 0 because that's our range. So the greatest one is 9. The smallest is 0, so that equals 9. Class Y, pretty simple. It's going to be that 4 minus 0 because the greatest is 4, the smallest is 0, so that's going to equal 4. So if we were to compare these two, we would say the range of class X is greater than the range of class Y, something as simple as that. Now, let's look at mode. So mode is the one that is chosen the most. So in dot plots, that's pretty easy. We're looking for the one that's the tallest. So I've got the mode right there as 4 in class X, and I've got the mode right here as 1 in class Y. So X, the mode, equals 4 because that's got the most choices. That's got four choices in Y. It is 1 because that's got, I'm not even sure how many that is, but that's quite a bit. So what we could say is that our mode for X is greater than our mode for Y because this 4 is greater than this 1. Symmetry is looking to see how close our graph kind of looks like a mountain, right? We want it to kind of go up and then kind of go down and kind of be even on both sides. So x, I'm going to say x actually looks pretty good. This 4 is not exactly quite center, like if we can get 4 and a half, that'd be a little bit better, but it kind of goes up and it kind of peaks back down. So it is a little bit symmetrical there. But for Y, you notice it should be peaking right here at 2, but it peaks very early there with 1. You see how this kind of sticks out right there. So I'm going to say our Y is definitely not symmetrical, but our X is symmetrical. Median. Now, median is simply the middle number if we just line them all up. Uh, line them all up. So let's see how many numbers we have here for x. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So since 20 is an even number, it's going to have to go between 10 and 11. So let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. All right, so here are my 10th and 11th numbers right there, starting from 0. Notice how I counted up. And they're both at 4. So I'm going to say my median for x equals 4. Since it's an even number, it's got to be between both numbers on either side. If it was odd, we can actually pick one number. Let's see what y looks like. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So I've got 22, so it's going to be between that 11 and that 12. So let me see. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there we go. Right there, y equals 1. So we've got a median of x is going to be greater than the median of y. And so we've got that right there. And the last one we're going to be looking at is our mean. Another way to think of mean is average. So what we need to do is we need to add up all of these values for class X. So I did that down here at the bottom. All right, so if I added all those up, so two ones make two, three threes make nine, and so on, I get a total of 85. Now you need to divide that by how many values there were. There were 20 total values, and that's going to make 4.25. If I do that same thing for Y, total is 33 out of 22 total values, that's going to be 1.5. So if we wanted to compare them, we would say the mean of x, which is 4.25, is greater than the mean or the average of y, 1.5.